Una Healy and Tebe. Hello, how are you doing? Tebe, you all right? I'm good. How are you? I'm not too bad. We were just having a riveting chat there about Cardiff. Um, have you got any plans to come to Cardiff? Man, I would absolutely love to. I've never been to Wales before. Heard nothing but great things. You know, if I, if I come out your way, hopefully I can track down Gareth Bale. I think that would be awesome. Would love to meet that guy. Definitely. And actually, Una, funnily enough, actually, I remember going to watch a rugby match. I can't remember what rugby match it was, but the Saturdays were playing at that match a couple of years ago. It's mad. And obviously you've come to Cardiff. Oh, that's right. Was it in um, Wales that we were performing as well? Yeah. Oh, I know. It was at the Scarlet Stadium, wasn't it? I think it might have been. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember. It was a. It was a while ago, but I was just. It like, was a while it, ago, it was, all right. <laughs> yeah, it just. It just came into my memory. But of course, today, yeah. uh, guys, we are not chatting about Cardiff as much as I'd like to. Um, we are chatting about your new song, "Song of the Summer." And uh, I'm going to come to you first, Una. Um, it's been hella boiling recently, hasn't it? It really has, and I've been really lucky here in Ireland as well that we've also had the heat wave last week. So this song is very fitting for everybody who wants to let the the windows down in your car. And just blare it good and loud. That's what I'd say. It's one of those songs. It's a real country banger, you know, pop country banger. Yeah. Um, it's a beautiful song about like reminiscing on a, a song that, you know, you associate with a holiday romance that you had in the past. But, uh, you know, this could be someone's and will be um, someone's song of the summer. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And is that one of the reasons why you wanted to get involved in uh, the song and actually do the song is because you wanted to create an amazing sort of summer banger? Yeah, I love a good country track. You know, I'm, I've kind of got into country a lot more recently um, after the Saturdays, my own solo music. A lot of people would say compare it to uh, some country artists and that as well. Um, but Tebe is a fantastic singer, songwriter and performer in his own right. And this uh, this song he released himself and I jumped on as a duet partner as well for another edition of it. So um, we actually have not actually physically met each other, but we've been working together remotely as everyone has been in the mm-hmm. pandemic. And we even shot the video separately. Um, Tebe was in Nashville on a rooftop and I was in Ireland um, on the Wicklow Mountains. So um, and then we also in the video, if you watch it, it's gorgeous. Uh, it's shot really beautifully with a um, two actors in it and they're playing out the the uh, the characters of the song, you know, so it's it's very it's beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and for you, Tebe, why do you want to uh, create this song? We, we've talked about the fact that it is just this amazing summer piece. But um, why did you write the song? You know, I, I had had this title for quite some time. I've been sitting on this uh, this general idea for writing a song called Song of the Summer. I was actually. I was listening to a local pop music station in Nashville and they started asking their listeners, what's your, what's your song of the summer? And it just got me thinking that would make a great, a great song. So sat down to write it, kind of created this uh, looking back atmosphere in the, in the lyrics. And, and I think a lot of people are going to find their own uh, truth in, in the story that we're trying to tell, because no matter how old you are, no matter what generation you're from, uh, everyone has a song of the summer. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just reading the press release now, you've collaborated with, with people such as One Direction, Fifth Harmony, uh, Pixie Lot, Cher. Um, what is it like now sort of um, collaborating with Una? It's cool. It's like coming It's like coming full circle because when I lived in London, the Saturdays were a massive, massive girl group. So I've, I've been familiar with, with Una and the girls for, for a long time. Um, we didn't get to work together, but we're working together now. So it's, it's, it's been a pleasure for me. I can't wait to actually meet her in person. We've done so many interviews. And, uh, and obviously have collaborated on this song together. So hopefully we'll get to uh, see each other in person soon. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, you mentioned the fact that you guys have not met yet. Um, of course, we're in that little thing called the global pandemic. Um, this this song uh, has been written and created during the pandemic. Uh, Una, what was that like? What's that whole experience like? Yeah, even when I recorded my vocals for the track, um, Tebe was actually in the studio with me on a, on a screen uh, with the producer and everything. So it was really funny how we done it like that. Um, it's, it's also, it's great with uh, modern technology that we can do that. Um, but there's nothing like being out there physically on the stage, performing it. Um, I, I'll, I'll miss now, Tebe, when you're at the Buckle, Buckle and Boots Festival performing it there, I'll miss not being on stage with you. Um, but I'll be there in spirit. And I, I just, I'm so happy to see things opening up again. <clears throat> And I'm really looking forward to getting back out and performing in front of an audience because uh, it's just so difficult for musicians. It has been um, to, to, to get that sort of interaction with a screen. You know, there's been a few of these gigs where we've been doing them online, but it's not the same. It's just not the same. So I'm so happy that music is live music is back. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. And, and for you, Toby, you know, you've got a lot of tour dates coming up. Um, how, how are you feeling about that? It feels so good. Uh, I was actually playing my first show in probably 16, 17 months uh, this past week in London. And it was great. It just felt so good to be back 
in front of real people, in fact, you can interact with, uh, you know, the Zoom shows and the virtual concerts were really cool to keep people mm-hmm. involved. Being back in front of a live audience is, is incredible. And I can't wait to head up to Manchester in a couple of days to, to headline this festival. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be my first ever full band show here in the UK. So it's, uh, it's a big one for me. Well, hopefully a Cardiff date follows. Um, but Tebe, uh, you know, uh, these, uh, uh, the, the pandemic itself, I think, has been really useful for people in the respect that um, it, there's, some, there's something about it, but it's channel creativity. And there's going to be a lot of musicians, younger musicians watching this uh, who, who might be inspired to write a song or create a piece of music. What advice would you give to them? Uh, first thing I would say is, um, <clears throat> how bad do you want it? You know, because this, this business is crazy. Um, you have to really want it and almost not have a plan B, <laughs> to be honest with you. So if you really want to do this, if you really want to be a musician, an artist, a songwriter, um, you have to really want it and be willing to sacrifice. Because um, I, yeah, I did for many years and I'm sure Una did as well. So, and mm. work hard. Nothing beats hard work. Yeah, I love that honesty, though. I love the fact that you sort of said that, you know, it is going to be tough and it is, is going to be difficult. Um, but for, for you, kind of, uh, Una, as well, do you, do you agree with that? Yeah, I do, because um, I always wanted to do music. And like like Tebe said, like the plan B is I tried university and I actually, you know, I wouldn't you know, recommend anyone to do this, but I I just couldn't stick to it, my co- courses because my, the music was haunting me. So I just decided to go flat out, you know, like an apprenticeship, played in any little pub, bar, restaurant, you know, wrote loads and loads of songs and gigged for years before I actually got my break in, in the Saturdays. It took quite a few years and it felt like it was never going to happen for me. Um, you know, so I'd say to anyone, yeah, you just have to put the hard work in and um, you'll have days where you feel like it won't happen, but like it, it will once you believe in yourself and work hard and you love it. You just have to love it too, you know, and not expect things to fall on your lap and, um, and, and, and expect disappointments because it will come, but that's what makes it all the better when it does actually happen and you get um get that break it means so much you know yeah absolutely she nailed it, she nailed it. Hmm. definitely uh, well i'm going to come to you both with this final question um uh, Tebe, uh it, those listening to song uh, for the summer what would you like them to take away for it from it uh i i would love for them to take away that this is kind of the new country sound that uh, i plan to bring over here from <clears throat> pardon me from canada from nashville um, you know, country music is changing. It's evolving just like any other musical genre. And, and uh, hopefully if they're digging that, they're going to get a lot more records for me that are kind of in that same lane. Definitely. And for you, Una? It's just a really cool um, country pop song. It's a banger, um, might I say. Um, and it's just it's a, it's a gorgeous song. And I just hope that everybody listens to it good and loud and, uh, and enjoys it. And it's perfect for this time of year and, um, and for many more to come. Listen to it good and loud. Uh, Tebe, Una Healy, Deal from Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Thanks very much. Thanks for having us. Thank you. That was great.